continuing on with more Mando Season 2 thoughts. Um, season 3 is already being written by Favreau, which is awesome. Because, I mean, he's got nothing but time right now. Uh, which is great, honestly. Because that means... I mean, he loves this project. This is his baby, right? So, you know, he's got all the time in the world to write the perfect season three script uh, that he wants. Um, he's not rushed, right? That's awesome. I mean, that's great. Um, regardless of how season two comes out, and I'm sure it'll come out uh, very, very well, I think that that means that season three is going to be even better because Favreau has all the time in the world. Um, he has time to, if he wants to, if he's so inclined, develop new characters uh, I mean, yeah, I'm really excited for both season two and three uh, and more going on. I mean, eventually it has to end at some point, right, which is going to be unfortunate. I would have to assume that Baby Yoda at some point dies or disappears um, well off into the unknown regions, right, because we don't hear anything about him. Uh, obviously, in the sequel trilogy in episodes 7, 8, and 9. So theoretically, he probably dies or disappears or whatever. Maybe he comes back. Maybe they leave it open-ended and he can come back in the future. That would be great also. Um, would be kind of difficult to make um, him a main character of a series, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we will, like a live action anyway. That would be, that'd be difficult. But who knows? Um, so, I mean, as I said in the last video, Sasha Banks uh, is now going to be at least a bit part of the Star Wars universe, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I love Dave Bautista. I think he's fucking hilarious. Uh, if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy or uh, Avengers Endgame, uh, and all, you know, all that stuff. I mean, Bautista's in there. Um, I was really skeptical before I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Another WWE wrestler trying to go mainstream in Hollywood. But uh, I don't know if it's Bautista himself or his manager or whatever, but he has chosen roles uh, where he doesn't take himself too seriously. And I think that that is perfect um, for the most part. I mean, yeah, sure, like The Rock, he's made a few uh, cheesy, semi-serious movies. But most of the roles that Bautista has taken are perfect for him. Uh, all the best roles, certainly, that he's had are perfect He's a bruiser, but he's hilariously stupid, like Drax. I mean, Drax is the perfect role for Dave Bautista because he brings a lot of comedic value while also being a badass. So I wouldn't hate to see, honestly, total shot in the dark, I wouldn't hate to see Dave Bautista in Mandalorian. I think that that would be a really good good uh, way to get Bautista into the Star Wars universe because Mando is semi-serious, but it's also pretty funny in some instances. Um, mostly Baby Yoda. I mean, Baby Yoda brings a lot of comedic value to Mandalorian, which is very impressive and very difficult because there's no voice acting for Baby Yoda. Uh, it's purely, you know, what few animatronics go into Baby Yoda or what puppeteering go into Baby Yoda. Um, so there's not a lot, and it's very difficult to bring that kind of comedic value through a character that doesn't do a whole lot. So uh, Filoni and Favreau have done uh, an excellent job, I think, in bringing Baby Yoda and making him an impactful character, uh, aside from, you know, the plot, just bringing him to life. They've done uh, an incredible job. I'm sure with the help of uh, ILM, uh, Industrial Light and Magic, and, I mean, way back in 
the original trilogy, uh, George Lucas, who was very good friends with Jim Henson, used a lot of Henson puppeteering. In fact, Henson was uh, a puppeteer for a number of things in Star Wars. Um, so I don't know if they're using Jim Henson's, well, the late Jim Henson's crew and shop for Mando. I don't think so. But regardless, um, Baby Yoda has been really, really good. Um, but getting back to Bautista, I really want to see Bautista in Star Wars. I'm not sure why uh, I want Bautista so badly, but I just I think that Bautista would be a great addition to the Star Wars universe since we're getting you know wrestlers and ex-MMA fighters and all that. Um, uh, I was a little skeptical about Gina Carano having never really acted in a main... Well, that's not true. Um, a whole lot. She hasn't been in a whole lot. She was in Deadpool, um, a couple other things. But she's done really well. Uh, I, I like her, and I think that she will adapt and adjust um, more and more as, as, as she gets more experience under her belt. Uh, I'm also just a big fan of super badass women in general, so I'm glad that she's part of the cast and hopefully will remain part of the cast. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, Carl Weathers is really, really good too. Originally, Carl, if you've watched like the behind the scenes for Amando, uh, you know that Carl Weathers was actually supposed to die in episode three. But and he was supposed to be covered up. He was supposed to be in prosthetics, uh, and Filoni and Favreau, luckily, were like, no, 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 this is ridiculous. We can't cover up Carl Weathers, and we can't kill off Carl Weathers. Uh, so I'm very glad that they made that decision too, because Carl Weathers is really, really good, uh, and he doesn't act a lot at all anymore. He's basically retired. So I am really glad that he came out of retirement. Um, to do Mando, and now he's kind of stuck with it. Hopefully he's enjoying it. Um, but yeah, the cast is really good. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito, I can't wait to see his character, Moff Gideon, uh, get delved into a little bit. Because Moff Gideon has the potential to be as sinister a bad guy as Thrawn, albeit in a slightly different form. Thrawn is very calculating. Not that Moff Gideon isn't, but Moff Gideon is a little bit, seems anyway, a little bit more willing to um, take a hard stance. Uh, whereas Thrawn is all about letting your opponent um, like expose themselves and learning about your opponent, which which is is in keeping with uh, Timothy Zahn's in, in initial and original development of the character. It's really, he, Thrawn is really one of the best bad guys uh, in the history of science fiction fantasy. Um, I mean, he's incredible. Uh, if you haven't read the original Timothy Zahn books, uh, although they are now legends in the expanded universe, they are so unbelievably good the original Thrawn trilogy so go read them or download them on audiobook whatever uh, I also highly recommend the new rebooted Thrawn series also by Timothy Zahn really really good and these are canon uh, so they are still very very good uh, he still stays pretty true to the original character um, while now re-canonizing him. Um, yeah, so those are really, really good. I would love to see Thrawn come back somehow, some way, because uh, obviously in the finale of Rebels, uh, we lose him. We don't know if he's dead. We don't know if he's alive. He's probably dead. Uh, but that would be unfortunate and a waste of one of the best bad guys uh, of all time. That would be almost as bad as killing off Darth Maul after about 15 minutes of screen time. Um, so I do hope that uh, Thrawn comes back somehow, some way. Not doesn't necessarily have to be in Mando. Uh, I wouldn't honestly hate seeing a spin-off movie for Thrawn by himself. Uh, I know that 
Disney and Lucasfilm are pumping the brakes on Star Wars saga movies, like the standalone movies like Rogue One and Solo, after Solo did so poorly. But I think they just need to recalibrate and reboot. Um, and now that they have some great talent like um, Favreau, Taika Waititi, um, I, I think that they can reboot the Star Wars standalone movies and, and really make them really good. Um, I can't wait to see Taika uh, get more involved with Star Wars. Um, I don't know if Taika is going to be involved in the Marvel franchise going forward. I'm honestly not sure what's going on in the Marvel franchise uh, between COVID and... Well, one of the main characters dying in the movies and one of the main characters, unfortunately, dying in real life. So we'll see 